everybody. Today we're going deeper into chi-squared goodness of fit testing. We're going to look at a situation where we suspect some sample data comes from a certain kind of distribution, but we don't know exactly what the parameter of that distribution might be. This is a pretty real world kind of problem. So here's an example. Imagine a concert venue and the parking lot after the revelers have gone home. Divide the lot into 80 square meter regions and count the number of pieces of litter in each one of those regions. So um, I've made a table here with the number of pieces of litter sort of as the independent variable, the explanatory variable, and then the number of regions as the response variable. Is it reasonable to believe that the litter in the lot follows a Poisson distribution? So we'd like to calculate expected numbers of regions for each of the numbers of pieces of litter. The problem is that we can't do that from a Poisson distribution until we know what the parameter of that distribution might be. So the most obvious thing to do is just to estimate that parameter using maximum likelihood estimation. For a Poisson distribution, the maximum likelihood estimator for lambda is going to be the sample mean x bar. So we compute that, we get 2.575, and that gives us a probability mass function for our Poisson distribution. We ought to be able to plug in an x value, like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6, number of pieces of litter, and get back the probability that a particular region in the parking lot has that number of litter, that number of pieces of litter. Multiply by 80, and we get expected numbers for regions that will have the different numbers of pieces of litter. There's a problem here. If you want to look for it, pause the video here. So the problem is that these expected numbers don't add up to 80. There's a non-trivial probability that a region could have more than six pieces of litter. So we ought to augment our table. There we go. Now we can compute a test statistic. So we do observed minus expected, square it, divide by expected for each of these um, categories and add all those up and we get a chi-squared equals a chi-squared value of 12.1. One last subtlety. We, before running the, the statistical test, we went out and used the sample data to estimate this parameter lambda. So we're, in essence, in the, when we run the significance test, assuming we know the mean of all the xi's. That's going to cost us a degree of freedom when we do our computation. Here's the general rule. If you're running a chi-squared test where you have j parameters approximated from their maximum likelihood estimators, you have to remove that number of degrees of freedom. So chi-squared of k minus j minus 1, where k is the number of categories. Here for us, 8. So that leaves us in chi-squared of 6. We need the probability of getting a chi-squared value at least that extreme, just through random chance, in chi-squared of 6. So in R, the code is 1 minus p chi squared of 12.1 comma 6, and we get 0 0.060. That's a pretty ambiguous p value. Um, if we had set alpha equals 0.05, this would be greater than that, so we would not reject the null hypothesis. But we should recognize that it's still a fairly small p value. The data is only marginally consistent with the null hypothesis that the distribution of, the, of litter in the parking lot obeys a Poisson distribution.